factors influencing the test effort. So in any of the test project or testing life cycle, when you are estimating the effort that is required to finish the amount of work, um, there are certain factors to be considered when you are doing those estimations. And in this tutorial, we are going to discuss what all those factors are and how those factors are going to influence the amount of effort that you estimate for doing the similar sort of work. So in certain cases that uh, effort might be less because there are certain factors that um, because of those factors that effort will be reduced. But there might be in some other conditions there are certain factors which will increase that particular effort. So let's see what all factors are there to be considered when you're doing the test estimation effort. Now the first um, thing that you need to consider or what factors influence influence the test effort uh, there are certain categories of these factors so there are there is product category characteristics development process uh, characteristics people characteristics and the test results so these are some of the characteristics that influence your test effort now let's see what all these characteristics are and uh, what all things need to be considered when you're doing the um, test effort estimation. Now the first one is product characteristics. Now how does product characteristics uh, influence the test effort? So for example you are testing any application so any risks associated with the project product. Um, if you're testing an ap application which is related to the medical industry and is is a life critical uh, application uh, and is supported and it's sort of software that needs to be deployed in ICUs. Um, so that's a life critical application. So it is highly risk associated. There is high risk associated with that particular software. And because of that, when if it is a high risk, then you, you are going to obviously put a lot of effort testing each and every possible combination and characteristics of that particular software as compared to any other say for example any other e-commerce application that you are uh, testing which is not life critical it's just an online store to sell certain goods then that's not a life critical application so uh, estimation for an e-commerce uh, application the test effort for the e-commerce application will be different or less as compared to the life critical application which is a medical application to be deployed in the ICU um, similarly the next thing is the quality of the test basis how your test basis is is going to influence the test effort that is required so for example your test basis is pretty well defined you have a um, good set of requirements very well defined uh, requirement then obviously uh, you don't have to go back and forth with the stakeholder with the uh, with the product owner or product manager to clarify a lot of uh, details that you are going to test uh, in that case your test effort will be less if your quality of test basis is good your test effort will be more if your quality of test basis is not very good um, then the next thing is size of product so if um, how big the, the product is or how complex the pro product is or project is that is another criteria or characteristic that will define how much test effort it is going to take um, next one is product domain complexity so um, same like uh, uh, the medical software or e-commerce application if uh, a medical software uh, is more complex then it's going to take more time uh, and more test effort uh, as compared to any other application or simple mobile app that you are developing so that will take uh, quite less time so depending on the domain complexity um, it is possible that the time to test the application will differ then the requirement for the quality characteristics so how um, are you required to do the security reliability and performance testing as well as part of your test estimation that will also define or that will also vary the test effort that is required for that particular application the next thing is the required level of detail for the test documentation that's also very important because 
the amount of documentation that you are going to produce as part of that test uh, test uh, cycle will define or will um, also change the test effort that you are going to put so for example your uh, client wants each and every test case documented with all the required uh, test data uh, as well as all the detailed test steps it's obviously going to take a lot of time as compared to some other um, uh, client who is just asking for one-liner sort of uh, test scenarios to be documented and then um, you can just execute those and produce them as a test artifact so depending on the level of documentation how complex the documentation and how uh, big the documentation is required how detailed the documentation is required the test estimation will differ as well then the requirement for the legal and regulatory compliance that's another major important factor which will um, change the test effort required so uh, if there is any legal requirement or um, uh, requirement which uh, which uh, which is regulatory so for example uh, most of the banks uh, have the regulatory requirement for any of the project that do that they do for most of the project that they do um, so in those sort of regulatory requirement you have to meet certain standards and certain regulations so those regulatory requirements you can't miss and you have to fulfill those regulatory requirements. Uh, however, if there are no regulatory and legal compliance requirement, then the test effort will be a bit less. So these are some of the product characteristics that you need to keep in mind when doing test estimation. And these are the characteristics that will impact your um, test, test, uh, test effort estimates. Now, Let's go uh, next and see what are the development process characteristics that impact the test effort. Now, how stable and mature the organization development life cycle is. So depending on how uh, well-defined process are in the organization, that impacts the test effort. So if an organization is a new organization without any um, maturity and process, obviously the test effort or uh, will be a lot more because you you don't have any processes. You you will be working on the process along with the testing effort that you are doing. Uh, however, if the organization is a mature organization, you know how much time usually um, has been taken in similar sort of complex project, then you can come up with the actual numbers for the test estimates or test effort estimates. Then uh, what is the development model in use? So depending on whether you are using uh, the waterfall V model or agile development methodology, uh, these test uh, estimates might differ as well. Uh, the test approach, tools, test process and time pressure. So these are some of the other characteristics of the development process. So what approach you are using, um, what test approach you are using, what sort of tools you are using, whether you are using just the manual testing or you will be using automation testing uh, uh, and you will be using a couple of uh, other performance testing tool which might expedite your uh, testing effort. Depending on those tools, um, you will be uh, required less time. So that will impact the test effort as well. Along with that, test process and time pressure also uh, impacts the test effort estimate. Uh, going next, so people characteristics. So how uh, are the team members skilled? If all the or most of the members of your team are uh, new team members, definitely you are going to spend some time in training those people and coming uh, or uh, bringing them up to the speed before they can actually start delivering some value so in those sort of scenarios there will be more test effort however if the team is uh, has been uh, having a lot of experience in similar uh, approaches and uh, similar sort of domain then you know that uh, they are well trained enough and they can tackle the problem easily then how the experience uh, of the team members is so whether they have been experienced in the similar domain or not or whether they are uh, just sort of uh, new members uh, then the other is team cohesion and leadership so how well the team um, spirit is and how um, well um, 
the team works together and how is the leadership support for the team that's another factor that uh, uh, that basically uh, impacts the testing effort so if the team is having uh, all the skills that are required to required in that particular project uh, if they are experienced they are working well together and having the proper leadership support those sort of teams will require less time to complete that particular project uh, as opposed to the team which doesn't have the particular skills which are required in the project they are not very well experienced and uh, do not have cohesion and leadership support so in those sort of scenarios there will be much more time required to deliver the same testing project the uh, the next thing is uh, the test results so how so for example in similar sort of um, project or the previous project wherein the team has been working uh, what all number of defects have been found previously what were the severity of the defects found uh, or what was the amount of rework required then uh, the time taken uh, to test similar applications so these are some of the characteristics characteristics or the test results that are available uh, uh, previously or historical test results from the previous uh, projects uh, considering all those factors from the previous test projects uh, might also help you to come up with the test effort and then keeping in mind what all test results or what all defects were found in the similar project what was the severity of those projects all those factors will help you to identify what the complexity of the previous project was what time it took what all defects came and then considering all those factors what might be the effort required in the current project which is sort of similar complexity and similar domain as we have done in the past so these are some of the um, characteristics that impact the effort uh, or the test effort estimate uh, required for any testing project thank you